Cap 7 Tip of the Week. Here we're going to talk about killing the clock. So let's look at the, the general system or setup. Okay. And you notice I have the half pull drawn in here. Okay. So right now we'll pretend there's the, the referee has the ball. You get two people on the two meter line, two people somewhere, you know, it's not the scale, somewhere between, you know, the five meter line and halfway. And then two, two people typically, um, if we start looking at this for, for a little bit better scale. Two people down the pool a little bit, past halfway, um, but not so far past halfway that they're close enough to the goalie that a goalie could come and guard one of the players, and then we could shift the players, um, shift the players down. Um, so we want to see this this kind of setup. You know, I like to go to the goalie with the ball, um, and obviously let's now let's put some defense in here um, and kind of think of some different scenarios of what people do to try to get the ball. Um, specifically. So in this scenario, the goalie has the ball. Um, you know, clearly we have to just kill the clock. So um, the goalie puts the ball in, you know, in play um, and starts, you know, moving forward a little bit very, very slowly. If they don't come to get them, then we just hold the ball. There's no reason to ever even make a pass. Um, but again, you know, the whole idea of like you're moving forward slightly. So there has to be some sort of, you know, attempt to move forward. Now, what a lot of teams will do is they'll put a player on the goalie, on our goalie, for instance, okay, in this, in this situation. So, you know, this goalie will, will follow out on all the way up to halfway. And now remember, okay, the goalie can't go by, past halfway. So it's really quite simple, right? If I'm the guy who's being guarded by the goalie, I immediately swim to the other side of half. I'm wide open. They can throw me the ball. You know, and you should be able to swim it out or whatever. Um, so if the team is, is really kind of clever and smart, right, and I go here, and then this person helps over and this person tries to jump here, then I'll just flash and we'll throw the ball to the goalie and swim it in. You know, some people say, oh, you know, you're, you're rubbing it into them. But if they bring the goalie that far out, most goalies can't swim as fast. And I would put this as a, as a fast player. Um, to do that, and uh, we would just flash and throw it and, and go and swim in the goal. Um, the biggest thing is just really being calm and making sure you're not, you know, your players aren't freaking out because there's a tendency for the, for the referees to, you know, kind of jump steal or really play over aggressive. And the whole thing is, is, you know, you have to protect the ball. Um, the other thing, too, another option is to stack it in here and go the ball here. Um, and then that forces this player to come this way, right? Um, I really like to call who gets the ball out at the last second. I'll direct it to the ball. So if they do something that's very, you know, weird, you know, they do something different that I haven't seen, that I can say, oh, no, no, go put the ball at one. And I'll have, you know, whoever my best player is, the most uh, cautious with the ball, have them with the ball in their hands. Because at the end of the day, if my best player has the ball and they put it in play and they protect it, they should be able to protect it for 15 seconds by themselves without ever having to pass the ball. Okay, so that's really, you know, when you look at it, it doesn't have to be complicated. And when we're thinking about killing the clock. It's really about the players knowing the system and being prepared um, to make those small little reads. But everyone who's, you know, out there and you're in this situation, just think about protecting the ball and not putting your head under and, you know, you should be able to kill the clock. That wraps it up here today. Uh, killing the clock. Questions, go on CWPA and check out the video library.